Today is February the 12th, 2022, uh, and very unfortunately for some people, I'm still around here, and it looks like I'm here to stay in this world, is what I'm saying. Uh, despite their forecasts, despite their threats, death threats, and how nobody in this world can help me and so on, uh, it looks like everything in a crucial moment just totally became uh, very inconvenient for them. Uh, I reminded myself exactly of what what exactly went on. In this video, this is the video about Dr. Igor Kotar. This video is not dedicated to the present director of the police, Yana Zogulin, or uh, his predecessor, predecessor uh, Anton Golai. He became eventually even a director of Slovenian police. This is a video dedicated to the Igor Kotar. I am going to push forward the investigation. I want a criminal procedure against these people. It's not going to be like Anton Olaj, uh, Gantar, um, Bratusek, and few others dreamed about these people, how they're going to try to get to my side and this and that. None, none of that kind of stuff is going to happen. Um, Anton Olaj as a director of the police let me let me demonstrate to you this stuff here this man here this is anton olai he would have people with his predecessor is a director of the police he would have people drive me to a serbia for beatings for abuse bosnia to the serbs to the chetniks to be completely exact about this detail uh, he personally engaged in violence against me and in 2000 and 2010 because he covered up He covered up for this individual here that you see here. His name is Branko Drukšić. This one here. Branko Drukšić uh, is the man who caused this here. This stuff. This is what he caused. Branko Drukšić, Branislav Drukšić, you see... This guy doesn't even want to be seen anywhere. Look at him. The last time I remember this guy sent me a letter that I'm a schizophrenic paranoid and sent the psychiatrists after me. Wanted to hospitalize me in 2018 again. It was the last time I heard from him as a director of the police in Novo Mesto. You see, so we have two directors. This is present. This is previous. Um, and, of course, then we have this man here. This is Borut Paho. This is a Borut Paho. This is now president of Slovenia. And you can see that scar he's got in the middle in the chest. Pay attention to that. See it? This is apprentice. This is a schoolboy from Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan, this is a, you know, this is just a guy that wanted to be a president of Yugoslavia. That's what he always wanted to be. Instead, he became a president of Slovenia. This is an Udba guy. Uh, all these guys are. And there's just one more person 
that I need to mention, then I go back to that stuff. Um, you can't see him here because he just doesn't want to be seen anywhere. That's a truly despicable human being. That is a, such a despicable human being that he doesn't even want to be seen anywhere. But these are these are really the people that it's like this. This individual here, together with this individual here, with this individual here, this is a director of police in Slovenia now. He became appointed by this guy here. Uh, you could say Milan Kuchan, you know, also this is Borut Pahor, this is Slovenian president Borut Pahor. Uh, he, he got himself this guy here who was doing a cover-up for the police officer for this police officer who in 2009 after engaging in a violence against me would have a car crash together with the Anton Olai they both did they both engaged in a physical violence for at the, at the opportunity already like for three days on that opportunity it was a violence that the two referred to me as a birthday gift because they caught me somehow drugged up again drugged me up and and it started again um on december the 9th i had a birthday i have no idea uh they were totally insane they acted completely insane and this insanity took this man to the birthday party got a drunk and finally almost end up killing a pregnant lady um the thing about it is he would not even admit it was his fault he blamed the pregnant lady together with this guy here and this guy was transferred he no longer was director of the police um, obviously police wanted to even get rid of him but it was this guy here this individual here his name is Hoyce, Alish Hoyce this is a Slovenian Chetnik. They all are Chetniks. This is all Udba assassins, killers, and Chetniks. This guy also was in Belgrade, is a good friend of Rajnjatovic. I wouldn't even go into Serbian president Alexander I wouldn't even go into Milosevic, Karadzic, Alexander Vucic. This guy is a good friend with Rajnjatovic, with the Arkan. You go ahead and Google and learn who this guy is. This is a serial killer from Serbia who murdered God knows how many Bosnian people and Croats, whoever he would get a hold of. This was known as a butcher of the Balkans too. Next to the Karadzic. You know, the Karadzic was a psychiatrist who handled my case, the Serbian who handled the case of Slovenian citizen, who handled the case of American citizen. Because of the people like Olai because of men like this here because of the people like this here Janez Ogulin and because of the guy who was in the police before them because these are the two guys they learned from the first guy that assisted Milan Kuchan they would drive me they would do only beatings, abuse 
torture in front of the memorials dedicated to the partisans in Slovenia. Guide me through the villages. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I said 10,000 death threats. I'm going to raise this to 100,000 death threats because there was no village in, Slo in Slovenia, 10,000 threats. In Slovenia alone, 10,000 death threats. But then globally, that was something different. This would be a village from village with a psychiatrist from Ljubljana, Polje, that would drag me from house to house, and the only thing would be a death threat. That's all it would be. And so this guy, in 2009, a few days before my birthday, he was beating, got, went to the party, would not even go sleep, got drunk, boom, crash. Director of Novo Mesto Police, Anton Olai, defended him. The whole thing became completely impossible, not only with Olai and with this police officer, but in 2010, the parliamentarians started to complain to me that it was more and more incidents with the police officers involved in my case, MK Ultra, because they, they became completely insane schizophrenics, mentally ill people, they turned into completely mentally ill people. They would not assume any kind of responsibility for the stuff they would do, and they would behave like they are sheriffs. Basically, they behave like they are, well, like they wear the stars and they can pretty much do whatever they want. Impossible even to work next to because I heard complaints from the police alone. So you're talking about the police officers that were involved in my case. And because of this, because they became so unruly, the parliament, I understand, that's what I was told, started to rearrange, clean, do the cleanup. But it was right there and right then in 2009, 2010, this guy and another guy have taken a stand that I would have to go inside of the mental hospital because of this. Because they wouldn't be want to be seen as mentally ill and criminally insane. You're talking about, after all, police officers, even a director of the police, now became a director of Slovenian police that committed atrocities, not only against me, but also that now it was more and more problems with these people against other people. Now, worst part about it is, for them was that it became evident who they are. People started to see this guy was mentally ill to the degree that he almost killed a pregnant lady. Right here from Shmarieshka to Plitza, he would not assume any kind of responsibility for it. And so somebody had to be guilty, somebody had to be destroyed, it's the one that knows, the one that had more proofs on hand than anybody else, that was myself. And so in 2012, they designated me to go inside of the mental hospital Ljubljana Polje, forced hospitalization through my parents, who went ahead and they lied, they did whatever, Mr. Ogulin, this is a present guy, this guy here, instructed them to do against me. This became a new director of the police. And so now you have a structure. On one side you have this individual here. Director of the police of Novo Mesto. On the other hand you have this individual here. Uh, rather than being fired, he was transferred to Ljubljana, and thanks to this individual here, he is now this guy now is this individual here this man here, this is a minister of interior. This is another Udba assassin killer uh, who presents himself as a, someone that supports Yanis Yansha. However, Yanis Yansha did 
this is not only ex Udba individual. This is not only the individual who uh, participated in Udba. That was an organization, a secret police organization of professional assassins, basically killers, people that would eliminate anybody that would oppose to the Yugoslavia. The Yugoslavia was a greater Chetnik state. To put the plain and simple stuff. Now, this guy actually is not even lying too much when he is standing right there in front of this SDS. Is that just his problem is this is the guy who is a personal problem of not only Aleksandar Vucic, now president of Serbia, involved in MK Ultra since 95, right next to Karadzic. Milosevic. Everybody heard from Milosevic. These are people that <clears throat> international authorities wanted. But you're talking about Arkan. This here was a Serbian psychiatrist to whom Milan Kuchan, a Slovenian president, Milan Kuchan wanted to be a Yugoslav president. He wanted to be a president of greater Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. That was a plan of Milan Kuchan. Instead, he became a president of a smaller country, our Slovenia, after the country liberated itself from this hell. He was uh, talking about Hoys, now Minister of Interior, a good president, a good friend of this of this here, of the wife and this guy here. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is, his name is Arkan. This man actually was known also, also, okay, because all these people, this psychiatrist too, they all are known as the butchers of the Balkans because they would go and they would kill women, children, anything that would walk. It wasn't about only the Bosnian males, Croats. Anything that would be Bosnian or Croat, it will go under the knife, basically. Under the knife. These are the real butchers of the Balkans. So we go back to Mr. Hoyce, this man here from Slovenia, who was also in Belgrade, spent some, quite some time in there. This is the man who would rush to rescue to this guy here, who was a director of Novomesto Police. And These are the people who hospitalized me in 2012, so the truth would never come out. Got him over time in Ljubljana, transferred to police stations, uh, got him in overtime. This guy, I think he was even suspended for some time, and he would have to work like on a details like a prison details, maybe even. Definitely remember him in a smaller police station where he would be. It was just a pure, pure, pure greed. He demanded extra time. He demanded overtime. He demanded money. He started to extort. Later, after the cover-up for this individual, who claimed was not even guilty for what he caused, he demanded the money, the, the lost wages. Oh, this guy was guilty, all right, this guy, for what he did. He was guilty. He was guilty. He was guilty. They found him guilty. But it was this lady here, Katarina Kresal, assistant from Borut Pahar, from Milan Kuchan, next to a few others that rushed to rescue to this guy. You can see him right here. 
rather than to get him arrested, not only fired the, the politicians, such as this lady here, you see, and lately, his name is this one here, that's a Gantar. He wanted to make an impression on me. This is now... This is the guy. This is the proper guy, not the other guy. This one. Uh involved in beatings, in abuse, psychological, physical abuse since 95, this man here. Uh, and they all wanted together to make an impression on me. You know, for me to... This guy pressured down on me that he will be either with me or against me. This is just the way it is. He made few MK Ultra scenarios. But this guy is from the opposite side of the river, Kirka here, down in Leshnitsa. That's at least what I was told. I say this because this is the neighbor police officer who was involved since 95, who told me also. You know, this is the people, for me personally, they're not really credible. So, I have to disclose who instructed me to see this that he is from this location because everything else are facts so I don't want to go down the toilet because of somebody that is a neighbor also here a police officer and who caused a lot of bullshit he lied a lot this guy so so to say it's very important for me to also disclose who instructed me like this actually instructed me, demonstrated me, did not instruct me in anything. He instructed me to work with him, to be quiet, to work with him, and so on and so forth. Right where it says here, this here, this store, this place, right next door, that he is right from here. Yeah, and it is true, this family from here was the most violent in 95 and in 96. These are the people who had influence over this whole settlement, over this whole village. They always got somebody whom they have used to demonstrate a complete compliance in front of the terror and physical beatings so that other residents from the area would humbly follow the example and in this case it appears if this is really the true if it's true that this is the guy here and he did profit from with him the police his with his career he became a director of the police as you see and i don't know is this a brother whoever has a business next door to if it's to trust the at least the information that he is from this place. He would, however, bring me from Ljubljana with the car straight to this location. Whenever he would bring me dropped up from Ljubljana, he would bring me straight to this location, then he would also take me home. So there is a high possibility that this guy eventually is from there. Was interpreted to me by this guy that he made an arrangements with everybody how they're going to help me and they're going to come forward. Well, <clears throat> let me explain to you about helping me coming forward. Fuck this. Uh, <clears throat> these people 
have caused way too much evil. Right next door here, there is Igor Kotar, is his name, is a physician, a doctor, Igor Kotar, became our neighbor, but this guy was involved throughout my entire life, before he even became neighbor, as a physician, as a doctor. This is an Udba man, a classic Udba man, a classic man who My story is such that together with his neighbor, that's Andre Ul, the two would not give absolutely any space for me as per even saying to me that I will survive, that I will live, that I will be alive until 2015. Until 2015, these two guys, the only thing they would do is, he would, this individual, this Andre Ull, would be his right hand, who would guide me back and forth, back and forth, throughout the area here, they hired the Belarus assassin, this Belarus guy that would come from Belarus, but this guy also would be one of them. And Alish Berger, the son from the Miroslav Berger, that is another assassin who was involved since 95, also drove me with his father to Serbia, to the Bosnia. Wow, you got no fucking idea what this, this is zoo here next door we have here. What these two guys would do, he would guide me, he would drug me up. The first thing that would happen is Dr. Igor Kotar, since 1995, demanded, acquired over and over and over and over again about the poison. What kind of poison can be added to MK Ultra drugs so that I would suffer health problems? He was obsessed with idea, basically, to eliminate me in the process, for me to disappear, so nothing ever would come out. Every time Americans would come, it was this guy since 1995. It really triggered attention from Americans. Every time he wanted to know, hey, what is new? What do you have new? Do you have something like this? Do you have this? Do you have da 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 he was getting this kind of information on behalf of Milan Kuchan. And this is what his job was. This is what he dreamed all along. How they're going to get the money through me and you're going to die. Basically, that's it. They got a lot of money through me. There was a lot of money they got through me. But I'm still around. In 95, in 96, Dr. Igor Kotar just as Milan Kuch and just as Borat Pahor was a regular violent thug, just as Miroslav Berger here, he was engaged in the violence, and just like Miroslav Berger, pulled inside of the violence, according, according to Miroslav Berger, who pulled into violence his son, Alish Berger, he pulled his own son into the violence. His name was... Igor Kotar Jr. But in 1997, I think it was 97, if it was not 98, I don't know. <clears throat> Igor Kotar, if he was not drunk, look, the guy just. 60, 70 meters, 100 meters from here. Drunk that could not stand on his feet. I would go off the road because I knew that the car, when I saw it going through the hill, that was, that is not going to make it through. It was raining and so I stopped and I, I moved from the road. 
and when he would come from the curve and see me with his schizophrenic eyes slam on a fucking brake his car would just skid into my fucking car that was parked on the side of the road away from the road smash into me because if I wouldn't do this we would both be dead basically and guess what I was the one who was guilty at first at least the method didn't want to see here the neighbor didn't want to fucking see anything neighbor caught her didn't want to see anything but the police they couldn't they couldn't do anything because the guy was from the village here he was a relative and so like it or not they have to admit the kill uh, the guilt and so it goes that in 97 or maybe or 98 his son was pinned on a wheel now how that goes how did how this accidents just like this guy his son started to torture engage in violence against me the guy that i have spoken with the other day reminded me of a guy who the next day after the torture there's yet another guy how many guys are like this you wouldn't believe he would roll under the tractor he was doing the stuff on the field and uh, he was trying to beat the laws of gravity with his insanity with his schizophrenia anger and eventually he rolled under the tractor and fucking died basically almost in front of me literally the next day as they drove me drugged up he would be under the tractor and they couldn't save his ass well everybody understands survived in the car with exception of his son on what schizophrenic violent physician dr igor Cotter and his schizophrenic wife sonia Cotter, a teacher become to blame me for it they wanted to see me dead at all costs now the violence increased they stepped up with the violence and the regular procedure become begun became me being poisoned during mk ultra but this started already in 96 but since it became to the degree that they measured absolutely everything about the food about the poison and about the food the combination between the two on how through the worsening of the health immune system in the body they could accomplish to get rid of me basically literally through the cancer issues into bring me into a state of the heart failure that was the dream of dr igor quarter and for that matter he used his helper next door andre ul that would guide me back and they would poison me heavily poison me each time and then it will brainwash me on how it's a cancer on how i have to what exactly i have to do what kind of food i have to eat to survive not to die to cure myself and involve a medical staff from a local hospital here in Novo Mesto and I understand what would be the same if you would go to Ljubljana or whatever on rejecting me what otherwise according to the law should be granted to everyone that's basically a health care that is a job that was a job of Igor Kotar and of Andre Ur so they would go they would poison me and then would start to brainwash me and for things to get more interesting they involve the guy from the belarus and it was a procedure during which they terrorized people every one of the doctor kotar igor kotar is schizophrenic attempts to get me killed in the future ended up in his not in his but it was at night time in the evening time after hours that Ul Andre Ul would bring me inside of the hospital where Igor Kotter would go this is the hospital right here in Novo Mesto this is a general hospital here in Novo Mesto 
Let me demonstrate to you. I just wanted to demonstrate to you what exactly happened here, where Dr. Igor Kotar brought me also, to demonstrate me the death of his son. That actually is almost on the other side of the the river Kirka. There is some trees in there and uh, he smashed into one of the trees. Uh, again, the same shit. It was some kind of a party, stuff like this. They were traveling back and forth. So, you know, he got a free car, free everything, free this. This is the, just a young kid that got everything in his ass. Everything he got in his ass was free. And he was a rated as partially mentally retarded young man. Not completely retarded, but his motoric, his logical, the way he pursued things, he was not exactly in line with a normal children. This is the stuff that you should know. Um, they have a habits to race with the cars, to push the cars to the limits. It was Andre Uhl who caused an accident, I think with a motorcycle, either with a motorcycle or with a car launcher. I am not sure, by also killing people. It's the people they resettled, destroyed family that this ha this have happened to they have them they wipe them out you can read anywhere about the accident it's Andre Uhl that had a problem with the law that had a run-ins with the law since he was 14 years old the police used to chase him all over the city he would do nothing but problems you're talking about the people that are like in the U.S., it, this is a delinquence. This is, this is the people that you would regulate, basically, through the prison, through through the prison system. This is the, the hooligans, basically. That's what you're talking about. Dr. Igor Kotari's son, however, was not a hooligan. He was, he was just a... Um, a polite man, a polite young man, I grew up with, I would go out, practice basketball, we associated tremendously a lot together, um, but because of his father, because his father said, you have to, you have to exactly imitate Berger, Miroslav Berger, who teached pushed his son Alex Berger into crime, into violence, you have to do exactly, exactly the same thing. So, I don't know what exactly happened with him in 97, in 98. This is a guy that did not give a shit. He had anything he wanted, anything he asked in this world, he got it. He got the best guitar. He only had the most expensive shoes, the most expensive jeans. Free car, free this, free that. There was nothing that daddy would not give him. He was like a child that had absolutely everything. So wrecking one more car, breaking one more thing, didn't fucking matter to him even a little bit. A motorbike or whatever would come from the sky, it didn't fucking matter. These people did not know about any values. They lived more... Live you than kids on a fucking Hollywood with their parents. And it was this guy, Igor Kotar, who got, who glued himself into this also because of the overtime hours he needed. He was just like Ogulin, just like uh, Olai, addicted to money. He wanted the money and he built another house here, another house there, built himself, I don't know, bought himself a place over there in Adriatic and back and forth. Uh, and for that, he was pretty much... He just wanted to see me, that I was the one who caused the death of his son. I was nowhere, fucking nowhere present, dude. 
Ah, this is a schizophrenic. This is just a violent schizophrenic. Dr. Igor Kotar is a violent schizophrenic because of whom my life was destroyed next to other violent schizophrenics here. Poison me every time, poison me to degree. Twice I ended up in a clinic center in Ljubljana. They ended twice, for twice I know. It was also here in our Mesto. They did to me a fucking transfusion. They changed to me blood because that's how poisoned I was. I know I remember for twice in Ljubljana, but I also remember here in Novo Mesto they did to me. The one who was doing this shit was Igor Kotter, who wanted to know exactly the limits of how much my body can resist to the poison, of how far this shit can go. So in the future, when it comes to time, that stuff can be done like synchronized with the circumstances, with the food supplied in the stores, in the local stores, to be to the last millimeter. For things to get better, in 97, my mother didn't want to be my mother anymore. Whether that was the situation because of the death of the son of Igor Kota, I do not know. The only thing I know is that in 99, my mother suffered some kind of mal misfortune. Very, very, very bad health conditions for which everyone, everybody deemed that she would die, that she is 100% dead. There is no way that, that she can recover anymore. Uh, folks, between 95 and mid-2006, I was in the United States of America. Yesterday, however, mother reminded me by leaving me like a piece of health examinations and stuff like that on the side. I browse, I went through, and I drop it right back. And on which there was something had to do with the chest uh, that I would like to get a hold of that stuff again but she have hidden that somewhere uh, I don't know how you say plutra uh, it's the biggest organ for breeding it was just like a quarter of it was just missing basically now how much that stuff is legitimate how much that stuff is true since 97 as i stated my mother no longer wanted to be my mother um when that stuff happened and they miraculously saved her the one who miraculously saved her of course was a doctor igor kotter so was that stuff done that it would have even bigger impact on my mother I get a complete a compliance to murder own son uh like a down payment something if you're not going to do this we're going to do that to you or was it used as an ultimate excuse you see the mother also told me that you're only going to be reminded of this thing one more time that's i i think that's what she said for in case the situation would develop as it did my pointing out exactly what these people are doing with me what their intention was and her being involved heavily in crime together with my father uh you know i was forced into this shit. i had to fucking do it that way so there was no other way to do it now the thing is that in 2002 my mommy told me my own mother that repeated me that not no, no, i'm not her son but it's the niece and her husband who replaced me that i'm a fucking nobody it repeated me over the course of years also is audio recorded as my being unwelcome to return in this home never mind in 2006 when I returned from the US after 11 and a half years I would not visit Slovenia this home for the first time she called me American spy never mind that stuff but always called me uh, you had 
to return to the place of assassination. That's how she referred to me. Placing herself in a role of victim, placing herself in a role of somebody who suffered. The poisoning which regularly went on during the sessions, as I stated, regularly would end me being brought to a hospital, to a local hospital, general hospital here in Novo Mesto. This is this here, Splashna Bolnishnitsa Novo Mesto, where Igor Kotar would go in the evening time into this wing here that you see here right in front of you. There was this lady, a nurse, that she would say, yes, of course, of course. And he, we, he would go in the evening time and he would do his shit for the heart, the measurements, everything, how much the poison had impact, how much this, how much that. One time, I remember, or twice, he also took me to the other side, to the other hospital. Let me demonstrate if I can possibly... I don't know what this was for, but this is basically how this assassin from Milan Kuchan did. And so what this this guy was not only, this is the hospital, this is general hospital of the novel master right here that I demonstrated. Let's see whether we can get the, the picture of this. Uh, yeah. Not, uh, not in a, not in a way I would want. But he also took me to this place here. So this guy had a complete, complete, complete overview. Uh, through literally also through. Yeah, this is actually okay. Cool. It, it did transfer me here. No, so. This was another one right next door. I don't know what he was doing there, but he would be using a facility, a state facility against the law, completely on his own, doing his own shit over there. And I'm not going to say I bet, because both physicians that were involved in the latest health examinations those two criminals participated in MK Ultra, lied about the results done on me when I reported myself a month ago for a health examination. This guy had the fucking influence over entire medical staff in the Novo Mesto Hospital. And he positioned himself as such I'm not going to say only through the board power, but he alone was doing this shit here in Novo Mesto. You want to know how the fuck that was done? His goal was not only to poison, to destroy the immune system in my body with the game of the cancer. His goal was to kill my will for life so I would give in and fucking die at this stage. So you want to know? who the Dr. Cotter is. Dr. Cotter, what the fuck I'm charging you today with? I want you arrested. I want you and your wife together. Your wife, you, Andre Uhl, Miroslav Berger, Alex Berger, Alex Hoys, Anton Olai, Ogulin. This is accusation for assassination attempt. I'm accusing you of trying to murder me. I'm accusing you of inventing lies against me as per my being a paranoid schizophrenic when you are a lunatics you are a threat you are a danger to the health to the people of this republic of this country i'm accusing you of assassination attempts for no less than 27 years you are trying to assassinate me to get me killed that's what I'm accusing you. And I demand police investigation. I demand these people persecuted. Jailed for life at the least is what I demand in this video. That's what happened with the Igor Kota, if you want to know. Who these people are from Ljubljana Psychiatry, I don't have to know. I don't have to explain. One of them is already in Belgrade now. That's a Zoran Muja. 
So, I hope I have clarified who Dr. Kotter was, what his job was, what he wanted to do with me, and how far he got. Yeah, in 2015, it somehow became evident to them they are not going to be able to murder me, kill me. Because all along, this is what these people were doing. Dr. Igor Kotter has some kind of medication he would give me. When it was once, for the beginning, just by the walking, just by, ins they instructed me to drink water, drink water and walk, drink water and walk. For 25 years, these people claim me I had a cancer. It was something else they aimed at. I didn't have no fucking cancer. They wanted to, they went after the heart. They wanted to get a cardiac arrest. With this kind of procedure, that's exactly where you get. You end up exactly with a cardiac arrest. Andre Ull stated, no longer could possibly rehabilitate me under optimal circumstances. If everything I was brainwashed with, everything Americans told me to do to survive. I hear mommy very nervous, everybody very nervous. They couldn't rehabilitate me anymore into a normal health state. Every session, whatever it was, they ended with some kind of pills, with some kind of medication they give me, and the sound, all everything would normalize itself. So, just so you fucking know what the hell went on with me, how many times have they repeated this procedure? I would love to say hundred times. You, you hear me what I said? I would love to say hundred times they poisoned me and did this shit with me. Now, that, that the number probably is, I don't know, maybe a thousand times. I don't know. I don't know what was it more toxic. Because the food, the stuff that they talked to me about, the vitamins and all that stuff, that how you have to, what you have to do, that all that kind of shit. I don't know what, what was it more, more toxic, but... Uh, if your mind get poisoned, it can be bad too. Uh, today is February the 12th, 2022. I demand these people are arrested to make myself clear. I'm not going to stop until I get you. Uh, until I get to you. Until I, I, I lock you up. Until you get the optimal sentence. Because I don't think there ever was people as dangerous as you is in this world. You are, you are crazy. You are really crazy people. I, I can't actually believe that people can be so crazy, that people can be so insane, that they actually can hate so much. But you know, just by looking at these accidents, how the people pinned themselves into the cars, how they smashed into what, what kind of... The pregnant lady that survived that car crash, she survived one thanks to the Thanks to the, thanks to the fetus, thanks to the, what was inside of her, literally, it was. Of the circumstances, I don't know how you split, split a college chain, I don't know how I would express myself that in English. That saved her life from the crazy, a really crazy schizophrenic police officer, guy in a fucking police uniform, director of the police such people that I had to go inside of the mental hospital. That I had to go inside of the mental hospital. They evaluated absolutely everything. Uh, they evaluated absolutely everything from fumes, from carbon monoxide, uh, all the factors inside of the house, director Yanis Ogulin from Novo Mesto Police and Antoi Olai and Alish Hoys. They would come here in this household here for 20 years. They would be evaluating absolutely everything, every little, every little thing, every little thing to know about absolutely everything. Now, 
to know their ins and the fuck outs. Even the chimney, the way they have positioned the chimney, everything, so it would be, uh, if somebody would go and investigate, you know, that, that everything was just in my head, basically. They evaluated absolutely every little last millimeter. Uh, Igor Kotter claimed me, nobody, nobody's going to save you. Uh, nobody from Nova Mesta that you're not going to think that they're going to save you here. You have a power, President Slovenia. Nobody in Slovenia, no, no hospital, not this hospital, not that hospital. Remember when we have you in that hospital. Remember when you had you in this hospital. No, no hospital will save you. Uh, we already made an arrangement with this. We made an arrangement with that. Nobody's going to save you. They did stuff like this. They guide me from one medical, well, from one dental office to the other throughout entire Novo Mesto city. From one, all the dentists in, in the city of the Novo Mesto were involved in MK Ultra. And each and every one of the dentists had to perform violence with me, whether they like it or not. If you did not perform violence against me, if you do not condemn me, uh, you, your business not only would disappear, they would do something else to you. This is the way it is. This, this, uh, this toxic, this poisonous, this mind uh, toxicity, the way they did, this was by far worse than if you would eat nothing but a fucking poison. You bet they added poison. You bet that I bought a copy inside of the Eurospin that my mother later on removed that was but the fucking coffee the coffee fucking disappeared. The fucking coffee was a uh, was of a color like this. Not brown but like this. Grey. It was the stuff that went on. It was a real-time poisoning. Here and there, they poisoned. And it's like a neighbor, a police officer, Method Yerman stated. It's all the points, he said. It's all points. We, the only thing we do is we add points. We add points. Yeah, you fucking add points. Not about what I do to survive. The good stuff I do, like I was instructed through a German van der Leyen, on how to eat healthy food to not die from cancer. It was a whole fucking paranoia that they organized. It completely brainwashed for me to see myself in uh, systematic. Only if you will do this, 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 and this, 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 you will, you will survive. Uh, <laughs> uh, man, you can do all this and this and this and this when they poison you food one fucking time, they set you back three fucking years in a health terms. You get it? So what they do is they kill your will for life, basically. What happens if you go to the open heart surgery? Because of the people, they insisted me, we all have this heart surgery. It's just something that we all have, so we figure out that you have to have it too. What happened exactly if you go to the open heart surgery because of the people like this? What, what exactly is it? These people had a good life. I didn't have any kind of life. I didn't have life of any kind. And so... They said, and then it's going to be okay, and then it's going to be okay. Yeah, then it's going to be okay, then it's going to be okay. It's everything is okay. You didn't have a life. You have to have, because we all had. And what is, what is, what is the purpose of life? To not have a life, to be tortured, to be poisoned, to be thrown on this fucking surgical table after they break your spine, compel you into breaking yourself spine through the forced joblessness and so on. What the fuck is this shit? Why would I want to see it that way? Yeah, you see? 
that is uh, the toxicity basically is to destroy to break everything in one and take from one the will to be alive i didn't go to the dentist yet because i'm afraid to go to the fucking dentist under the circumstances like this because i think if i would go to the dentist just like they have demanded for me to go for the lymph node they have done something they injured me a lymph node here in 96 in belgrade i don't know what they have done to it it was a surgery something they did and so when i have a backpack if i don't put something here under uh, this becomes it can become so painful that um you go you go insane basically you you just this is just this this, this there was a butchery the only thing these people were doing it was a butchery so considering that you have nothing to live for considering the slovenian girl who told me under mk ultra but the stuff we you know what exactly she said what is exactly when it comes to torture she said what exactly is it if you have external wounds it can be seen right that somebody hit you that somebody cut you that somebody did something to you right but when it's a mental this is how they were explaining me this stuff but it's a, if it's a mental stuff we do to you if it's a mental stuff what is it what is it how bad is it how bad can it possibly be how bad can it possibly be nobody can prove right that's what they, that's how they explain to me in slovenia nobody can prove nobody can see okay and if you also do internally right so they go from mentally they grow also internally that's the time when they fuck your health within inside all the way they work to your heart basically through the spine breaking and all the way to the heart for this stuff i was taught that no matter what no matter how good no matter what that i do either i'm gonna go and search for uh medical help basically get the drugs to treat this physical condition or i will fucking die there's actually no uh no escape from it there is actually no escape from it all in 2015 this is why you see this thing they made an agreement with the west somehow they i don't know what the fuck they did uh but they came to terms if somehow i would this and if somehow i would that and you know it's like hoist said uh i made an arrangement with this guy already you know and this and that and so they did this in a such a funny way gunter uh these are the people that call themselves with the power and this as a leftists Katarina Kresal, Tanya Fayon, and so on. They call themselves a leftists. And these are no fucking leftists. Uh, it's nothing wrong with being a communist. It's, it's just, the problem is not with the person that wants to be a communist, a leftist. These are no leftists. That's where the problem is. These people are something else. These people, have, these people are as communist. They're as leftist as I have to do with the last year's snow they're not leftists these are just uh, killers these are just assassins Golovic from the political party Zares was financed by the dutch king because i told the dutch king dutch king was asking me who whom do i want to choose uh to help me for mk ultra and i chose this Golovic. uh and the only thing they they asked what you want company this that okay here is the money here is the money and they were paying 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 and there was nothing they were, the money was just disappearing the money was just stolen uh these are not communists man these are just the fucking murderers assassins killers afterwards i was brought to him over there mm. in his office to him and to his colleague just to be death threatened just to be a physically emotionally psychologically abused 
and thought, just as I stated, just like a quarter, the, in the same principle. We made an arrangement. We'd made, we, you, you're not going to survive. You don't have a chance for this. You don't have a chance for that, and so on and so on. That's what the fuck I heard for 25 years, ongoingly, on and on. That's all there was. Why was it Andre Ur, Dr. Kotter, have chosen? Okay, that's an interesting one, too. In 95, when I was brought from the U.S., uh, I demanded to be respected. In 95, when it all started, I demanded to be respected. And so the neighbor here, Peter Lin, uh, the neighbor here, Berger, they tried to handle me with the force. But in 95, when it all started, I was still a normal. And so the only thing I did was I grabbed two, three of them and throw them all over the kitchen. They didn't get done pretty much. And the whole thing turned really ugly, cooked. They wouldn't give in. And finally, it was Andre Ull that got himself atop of me, drugged up. And so it was since that Dr. Igor Kotter demanded Andre Ull as his bodyguard. It was also a fact that I got, due to abuse, due to physical violence against me, Dr. Igor Kotter in my hands on quite a few occasions. On two occasions, the least, is when I grabbed Dr. Igor Kotter and uh, got him through my hands. But it was always Andre Uhl that was next, right next to him and somehow stopped me from finishing the job under MK Ultra. This is just the way it was. So just you know who Dr. Igor Kotar is, who director of the police of Novo Mesto is, was also a previous one, a present one, and also now who director of the police of Slovenian police is. Yeah. And, of course, about Mr. Alešhoj, who who a minister of interior is in Slovenia. And finally, so you understand why I had to be hospitalized, why I was pronounced as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2012. That's basically just two years. It's just two years after maniac who would not even consent into guilt, almost murdered a pregnant lady right here next door. Oh, that's another coincidence. She was from Shmarieshka to Plitsa. When people considered the amount of the stuff that went on, uh, the amount of the stuff that happened, the karma, the karma, literally karma, if you like, the karma, you know, a karma. Yeah, look at this scar on his chest. You know, a karma. Ah, I did discuss about this stuff already. I'm not going to get into this stuff. Uh, they couldn't believe, basically. They couldn't believe how it all worked out. And really, in 2015, when they had me drugged up, walking to Shmarieshka to Plitsa on occasion also this lady came and asked these people in front of me she said why why do you why does he have to go to the mental hospital why and not the other guy who caused this accident yeah so <laughs>